It's episode two of The Tea with Jamie Lee and we're bringing someone fresh, someone sexy, the, <laughs> the man of I Heart Sundays who cannot jazz, by the way. Someone fresh and sexy. <laughs> Wow. You are. You are in that sexy season <laughs> era of your life. Do you not feel that way? Huh? Do you not feel that way, Lunga Singama? No, I don't. I don't feel fresh and sexy. No. What do you feel like now? In what, what season? Like? In what era of your life are you in? Kingly. Kingly. Yeah. Uh. You know, I come with my boss swag. Yeah. No, you definitely yeah. are. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Like I'm on my nothing is gonna stand in my in my way swag. You know what I mean? The man yeah. is booked and busy. Go get a swag. I love that for Getting you. Getting it all. I love you know that I mean? for you. Just, I'm, just out, I'm, I'm, I'm out here just taking it. That's what I'm doing. Are you going to start the tea with who you were on a video call with now? Or because when we came in, you we, we are late today because... Hi, <laughs> boy. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> We're late today because you were on a video call. I was who on was... a video call with my mother. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know how I know you lie. Because when I was approaching you, you were like, "Don't come." What? So why that's what I know. To? It's someone from the I streets. I was talking to my mom. So why didn't you want it's to? My do- mom from the streets. So why didn't you want to introduce me to your mom? No, I can't introduce you to my mom. At what point do you introduce anyone to your mom? No, I introduce somebody to my mom once I pay low baller. Ah, okay. You know, have I low baller? Do you? Will you low baller me? Uh, yeah, fifty cows. <laughs> That's a lot, eh? <laughs> <laughs> can we start that process? We start that process. Yeah, we can. But you like baddies, even though you're saying that I. Are you not a baddie? I don't think so. Mm. I feel like maybe my aesthetic gives baddie, but personally, I don't feel like I'm like. I think your activities also give baddie. <laughs> and what are <laughs> what are these activities, sir? <laughs> You know about your activities. Don't let me expose you to the this people. This is the tea. This is the tea. There's, don't we don't hold anything the back. Well, let me nothing. expose you to the people, you know? Like some things should, st- should stay private. <laughs> but things didn't stay private on <laughs> socials this week. Let's get into it. Have you seen you, Have you seen the video? <laughs> the video of what? Drake? <laughs> have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. Why should I be looking for the video of another man's penis online? This is the thing. The videos mm. find me. Really I don't go out you. there. I that don't is lie. So- you went you went looking for it, didn't you? No, my You went looking for, for you page. No, first of all, admit that you went looking for Drake's penis online. I will say this. I wasn't looking mm-hmm. up until I was like, I want to see what energy he's carrying because he does not give <laughs> energy me energy he's carrying. No, he does <laughs> <laughs> what energy Drake is carrying Because Drake was not giving me big dick energy at all And then uh, I saw the video and I was like Sir, excuse me, what? You think, I, think that, I think that's not his real dick I don't think that's him Firstly, one, I don't even you think don't that's think him, him Because the math is not Why? matching This is dick envy here <laughs> <laughs> He's got a massive dick if that is him, him, but he also apparently allegedly had a BBL. He had a liposuction. BBL. Yeah, he had a male BBL. Oh. That's word on the streets. So you get enlargement things these I mean, days. Like people do. Uh, people do like a lot of work these days. You know what I mean. So it's powerful. The cause. Like if he wants to do like uh, a dick implant, he can do that. If he wants to do a BBL. Uh, whatever he wants to enhance, mm. you know what I mean? Because there's pressure at the top, you know, you got to look sharp always, as you know. Yeah. Would you as own you that, know. though, if you ever had, like, an enlargement or... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't need it. Would I own that? <laughs> Would you own it? Would you be like, yo, you know? How am I going to... First of all, how is that going to come up in conversation? <laughs> just be like... <laughs> like, like, am I just going to go, like, on Instagram and be like, yo, guys, I just came out of... <laughs> you can do a story time. <laughs> Dr. Jacobs is... <laughs> Just came out of Dr. Jacobs' rooms. <laughs> yeah, you can take us through the journey. It's now 15 <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> Day one yeah. of my enlargement oh, surgery, my and surgery. here I am. Oh. But uh, l- listen, if he did it, who yeah. knows? If he actually leaked it, who knows? Um, I just think with him yeah. and his marketing team, there's always it's always for PR. Yeah. So whether he actually leaked it or someone of his, well, from his mil- team. Well, he's milking it now. For sure. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. The man. He's milking it. He is getting it. Like, you know I'm sure mean? the he's woman. He's not denying if, uh, if it's, it's him or not. You know what I mean? He's just letting it ride. 
you know. But also these days, it's not it's not frowned upon for somebody to like have their private parts on the internet, which is a shame. Hmm. Yeah, it's not frowned upon. Like uh, a lot of people leak their their own nudes on the internet, you know, uh, just for clout uh, and just to trend, you know. So it's not frowned upon. Um, I don't know if I want to be in a world like that, hmm. you know. I blame the Kardashians. Blame, I stop blaming uh, Kim K. I blame Kim K. She made it like she made it possible. She's like, yo, listen, do a yeah. sex tape. You're gonna be a billionaire in a couple of years' time with a good marketing strategy. Yeah. You are on no, your way to the Drake top. Drake is already a billionaire. He doesn't need. To he do doesn't that. need to do it. I mean, yeah. maybe he has a new he song out. Maybe he has a new song out. Maybe he has. Eh, eh? Cause yeah. Because he he also changes. Like if he goes to a different city, yeah. then he's that. Like if he's in Jamaica, then he's like, yeah, man, Drake in Jamaica. Oh, then a, he goes to ATL. Yeah, he's then he's like, chame- <laughs> he's a chameleon. He's a chameleon. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe this is uh, changing him. Another person who's maybe, I don't know if he's a chameleon, but it's a person that you stand for. You mm-hmm. are the biggest Lewis Hamilton. The goat. The goat. The goat of motorsport. And I actually call... The goat call- of fashion. Mm-hmm. Uh, the goat of philanthropy. Yeah, just the goat of everything. I actually called you this week. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm spilling this here. I called you this week and I was like, yo, what does this mean? Because he's leaving. He's leaving uh, Mercedes. Mercedes. He's going to, uh, to Ferrari uh, At- in 2025, the season, 2025. After this season, he's going to Ferrari. That's like, um, that's like Ronaldo uh, transferring from Manchester United, going to, uh, to, to Real Madrid. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that's how big it is, you know. And it's been his childhood dream, also, you know, to drive for Ferrari. Always wanted to drive the the scarlet red Ferrari, you know. He's always wanted to do that. Uh, the last two seasons have been great uh, for Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. He hasn't won a race uh, since 2021, and so I feel like um, a change had to happen, you know. And um, he's he's the kind of person who takes things uh, into his own hands. And uh, he did this in 2012 uh, when he came from McLaren. McLaren was like a good team at that time. You know, he had won a championship with them. But he decided that he's going to change teams and go to Mercedes. And look, six titles later, his uh, his decision was validated. Mm. Now, a lot of people are talking <coughs> about how, what if Lewis Hamilton doesn't win a, um, a championship with Ferrari again? They're gonna they're gonna be proven wrong because Lewis Hamilton saw something that John Elkin and all and all those people at Ferrari they saw some they saw something in Lewis Hamilton first of all because immediately when the news were announced the stock rose up they made about four billion or some something like that but also Lewis Hamilton doesn't make decisions willy nilly mm. uh, he probably was taken to the factory in Marinello and they showed him around and they said listen these are the plans that we have uh, coming up. Would you like to join the team? And he saw the plans and he made uh, another right decision again. Time will tell. Mm. Time will tell. Yes, my question to you, like, so where does your loyalty lie in terms of do you go with it a lies brand? With Lewis Hamilton. Okay. Everywhere Fair. Lewis Hamilton goes, I go. If Lewis Hamilton drove for Haas, if Lewis Hamilton drove for uh, Toro Rosso, if Lewis Hamilton drove a donkey cart, I will go with Lewis Hamilton. Fair, yeah. fair. And what do you think this n- new season is going to mean to him? Because again, he's been, he's been at Mercedes for such, for a, long such a long time, and he's you know he's got a great connection with everyone, with the team. Yeah. Um, he's really put in the work. He's started his foundation out, um, yeah, yeah. out of the camp as well. So yeah. now, obviously, having to transition and take on a, a new brand that yeah. he's not familiar with. Again, you did mention that it is it was his childhood dream. Yeah. But what does that mean for him in this next season? I mean, I think uh, this is the farewell tour uh, for Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes. And if Toto Wolff and everybody else at Mercedes, are, uh, they have their thinking caps on, they will make sure that is, this is possibly the best season. He put out a good car, make sure that he wins his eighth. That would be the best final parting gift that they could give Lewis Hamilton because they owe him that at mm-hmm. Mercedes. You know what I mean? So hopefully this season is a very good season and hopefully George Russell knows his place. You know what I mean? George Russell is Lewis's 
uh, Lewis Hamilton's uh, driving part, driving partner at Mercedes. So will he go over as? No, 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 no. no, no, no. He's staying. He's staying at Mercedes. He's staying at Mercedes. He's the future. A lot of people say that that's part of the reason why Lewis Hamilton made the decision to leave. Because joy, because all the resources seem to be going towards George Russell. They're listening to George Russell more about the design of the car and things of that nature. They're not listening to Lewis, and Lewis had been saying for two years, "This is the wrong philosophy for the car. We need to go a different direction." Mm. And they didn't do that. And look where they are now, fighting for the middle instead of being right at the top where they belong, and that's Mercedes. And Lewis Hamilton doesn't fight in the middle. He wants to fight at the top. Sometimes you have to do that. I feel like sometimes you have to walk away from a space that like no longer serves you kind of and then just go. I was actually listening to a podcast or something on TikTok that said after every three years you have to kind of move jobs and that's how you become rich because every time you can leverage that off. Like, Yo, yeah. I've been working at Hearts FM for how long? For how long? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long? How long has it been? Yo, I started working here like in, like I came into the building, this building. It used to be at the back in 2009. Yeah. It's a long time. That is 15 years. Like, I first came into the building, like, in 2009. And um, maybe I started doing, like, my first shows, like, in 2010. Like, doing four to six. And you never left? Never left, yeah. No. You know, like, uh, I'm... I'm essentially part of the mm. the furniture at Heart FM. You're the heart. You're not. the heart. You're the heart of this place. <laughs> Except you can't jazz, but that's yeah. for another conversation. How do you know I can't jazz? Because I've got receipts and videos. I can dance. Can you dance? I can. Oh. Give me a chance. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. I'll put you to the test. I will, I will put you to the test mm. in terms of dancing. I also want to touch on... It's a good... Yeah, I feel like it's such a great time to be a South African. It Honestly, is. like We're I, winning right now, right? We are in our winning season. I mean, we had the Rugby World Cup. We're not going to talk about the Proteas. Our Bafana Bafana boys really made us proud. But obviously, over the past Yeah, but week, also, we can't give away partic- participation trophies. You know, Bafana Bafana didn't win. They really. didn't win. But they brought you know? us together. Because yeah, somebody said we should go and wait for them at the airport. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, we're not doing that. You're not going to wait at the airport? No. Why should we do that? Just to you show know, a little bit the, of support. Semi-finals, my guy. They didn't win the whole thing. Mm-hmm. They're going to play for the bronze medal. They didn't win. But I feel like they... The standard... On the, the, no, okay. we're dropping the standard. We're dropping the standard. The, uh, the, the Springboks won. Rightfully so, where the airport were going crazy, we had a parade. Drikas won. Mm. Drikas deserves to like go around the country and show off his belt. Anyone who wins, we should celebrate that. Got you. So yeah. we should just do like a maybe a, a Insta post, be yeah, like, thank Insta you post, to the Mafana well team. Done, Mafana, Mafana. Yeah. All they, they need to do is just build on this. Mm. You know what I mean? That's all they need to do. But build on or build on what they are currently doing because there were good things that happened. So they just should, should just build on that. Yeah. You know? But still proud they of them. go overboard. Still proud of them to just be in the space. Because, I mean, a couple of months ago, even a couple of years ago, Bafana Bafana, where were they? Ha! Huh? They weren't yeah. even on the yeah. radar. Of South Africa wasn't always, even celebrating we're proud, them. We're proud. But, like, this idea that, like, we should, like, run a parade for them. Like, nah, let's stop. Should we run a parade for Tyler and Trevor Noah that, firstly, Trevor Noah hosted the Grammys. Tyler walking away with those are the people we should run a, par- a parade for you know like they like t- tyler is gonna bring back the grammy she should like do a grammy tour mm. she should do like a grammy tour go to like schools inspire kids like yo listen you can do it too you know <sighs> what do you, do think- you mean no 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 i definitely think she should do that but don't you think the space that she's in right now is already inspiring kids kids from wherever she is nah, as like, opposed to now going out there nah, but and like when kids see it like it's different but kids are seeing it nah, nah, like when you go to like, like let's say like she goes to like a school in mitchell's plane like there's tyler in there in the break room in mitchell's plane or in the hall in mitchell's plane there like make the me his hand exactly make me harder or wherever she's from you know like i think she's she's from jo- johannesburg Josie, yeah. yeah you know imagine like she takes like grammy to the school where she went to because I'm sure she just finished matric. Imagine she went back there. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, yo, 
This is This is it. What the heck? Exactly. What the heck? Exactly. Exactly. My mommy's going to be crying in the audience. Oh, that was such such a this beautiful is, moment. You know what I mean? It was. It was mm. so great. You know like uh, but like you know like people in in this country sometimes you know there's a crab yeah, in a bucket mentality where we can't be happy for people. You know, even in their in their highest moments, you know, we always have to nitpick at stuff. You know, find ways to bring them down, you know. You know, because you see the rhetoric that's going around, you know. Uh, nah, she's an industry plant. No, she was chosen for X and Y, you know. Do you think that she's should an, be show my Do jewels. you think she's an industry plant, though? Or do you think it's just like... How, how is she an industry plant? Hence why I'm asking. Or do you just think it, it's her? It's the right time? It's also the right season for her to be in this space? Like, she's worked hard for it. Um, she has a great marketing team. She also has a great management yeah, team now. All so uh, all the things is, is, is coming together. And so... She has a good song. A great song. song. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. That over repeat, like Z- putting it out I mean? there, using TikTok, using used the TikTok, algorithm. Use... She used, uh, like, she did the Bacardi dance, you know, with those girls. That thing took off. Mm. You know, she's got like the right management next to her. You know, they they put it like in the right places, uh, locally and overseas. And she, Tyler, been, been you know when she put out that song with Cool Drink. This was like in 2017 or something like that. Was it late night? Yeah. yeah. Getting late, getting, getting late, late, getting late. Yeah. She put out that song with, with with Cool Drink. And even then we were like, this girl looks like she she's got, got something. something in her. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's been trying to do this like for a long time. And people think this is overnight success. I was watching a video. Just because you, you haven't been there for the struggle yeah. doesn't mean that like it's overnight success. So we should congratulate Tyler. Well done to her. No, for well sure. Well done to Trevor Noah. What? Well, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the one thing. I was like, everyone is talking about Tyler and rightfully so. She, I mean, she walked away with the Grammy. But also as a host, as someone, again, from South Africa, mm. who used to put this out in the universe and, you know, started out from humble beginnings. And now he's on stages that he could have only dreamed about yeah. and he's representing South Africa so hard he's representing himself so hard and he's doing such a brilliant job again I was reading online people was like ah oh, he wasn't a good choice I'm like he was a brilliant choice yeah. he kept it clean you know his jokes were great okay he's not the funniest person I won't say Trevor's the funniest person ever yeah. but he is a really really good host listen Trevor's got like the perfect amount of funny mm. the perfect amount of clean the perfect amount of everything that's why he's so successful. He's like uh, Kevin Hart. You know, like they have the perfect amount of everything. They don't go on stage and be crass and do all of these things that are funny that all these other people always want to do. I'm pushing the boundaries, you know. <laughs> pushing the boundaries. And you wonder why you don't get jobs. Because people want to work with people that are cool, mm. you know. And consistent. Yeah. Um, I was also listening to, I think it was one of the Academy directors, and he was speaking about why they chose Trevor Noah. And he was saying for exactly that, like they needed someone that was just an all-rounder. Yes, we know he is a great host. Yes, we know he's funny. But also someone that is relatable, relevant, people can look up to uh, someone like Trevor Noah. But again, on a broader scale, yeah, for you personally, like seeing people like Tyler, seeing like people like... Trevor, in these spaces, what do you think that means to the South African industry, the entertainment space right now? Because that that is inspiring that girl in Mitchell's plane. That is in, inspiring the girl from retreat being like, yo, if Tyler can do it. Then I can do it. If Trevor, can, then I can do it. It means absolutely nothing if you don't put in the work. Hmm. Like, if you don't put in the work, it means absolutely nothing. Like, if you have a talent and you don't put in the work, Behind that talent, because Trevor Noah was doing comedy at UWC in 2005 with Conrose. Wild. Yeah. Like there, you know where they play dumbs? Yeah, what is it called? Like the, the student center there. It's a name. In, at UW, mm, it has mm. a name. Like there, the student center. He would come there, he was working at YFM, like doing comedy there. And people were like, who's this guy? You know? He was doing comedy back then. He put in the work. He put in the hours. You know what? What do they say? Ten thousand hours. He put more than ten thousand hours into his craft. And look he where deserves, he is. He deserves all the success. So, like, the the question about like, uh, what does it mean for the South African like scene? It it means nothing at the end of the day. But like, the eyes of the world are on us. You know what I mean? 
They aren't asked for the Ama Piano vibes. They aren't asked for like the talented people that are coming out of the country. So we just have to make sure that we put in the work and we support the people that are that stand out, the people that are talented. We support those people uh, and we push them. Mm. You know what I mean? We push them to be uh, more stories, more Tylers, more Trevor Noahs, all of that stuff. You know, we just need to make sure that we push them. So if somebody's talented, you know, this is your time in this country to like, hey, put, put your hand out and be like, you know, choose me. Mm. I'm ready to go. And maybe sometimes people struggle to like find their space and find the groove and how they get into the space. Just leave them out there with like some words that maybe you've learned 15 years that you spoke about. 15 <laughs> was, years at Heart FM. leave them with words. Leave them with a bit of like words. a minty oh, or man. something where you're just like, yo, the Lunga Singama in his kingly era, <laughs> wow. in his kingly season, being booked and busy. Ah, the man said the red card is different this year, everybody. <laughs> but what is it? Yesterday's thing? price <laughs> is not today's price. <laughs> I even asked him to be like my co-host on the show and he was like, absolutely not, boo. <laughs> he said, can you even afford me? So what would that, like that words be? That, words? Yeah. I don't, I, mean, I don't even know what, wor what words I can leave people with because I've been through so much, you know, in Cape Town. Like, like as a, a lot of people know like about uh, what, what happened last year, you know, like the struggles that I went through. No, people don't and know. What do you mean people don't know? Some people know. I mean, like a lot of people do know, you know what I mean? Like about like... Uh, yeah, last year I removed a brain tumor, all of those things, you know what I mean? So I went through a lot uh, health-wise, you know, but still I didn't, I didn't let that deter me from like the stuff that I wanted, you know, out of life, you know? And um, I came to Cape Town like a long time ago and with a dream to like become a radio presenter. That's the only thing that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, like 13 years old. You know, I used to sit with my brother, we used to listen to Radio Trans Guy. And I, was t I used to say to my brother, may he so rest in peace, I want to be the guy inside the radio. Mm. And he would say to me, there's no reason why you can't do it. You know? And um, I remember, like, when I finished, like, high school, and it was, like, my turn to, like, figure out what I was going to do with my life. And I would ask my mother, so where should I go? I only knew one person in Cape Town, Upram Fora. Uh, he used to stay at NY1 in Cooks knew only him and i was like i i don't want to go to joburg because i didn't like that energy so i i would come to cape town so i came to cape town and i stayed in ny1 with Bramfura at his house for a little bit i was looking for school i went to cape college i didn't like what i was doing there i dropped out and then i applied at uwc when i came to UWs, they were like what do you want to do i was like anything you know what I mean? They were like, oh, there's a BA in arts. <laughs> you know, I went to the humanities de department. I did that. You know what I mean? I, you know, honors in, in history. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. You know, one day, maybe it'll all make sense. But you just got to pe persevere, you know? Like, people, like, always laugh at me when I say, uh, like, uh, some don't believe, like, I was a gachi at one point. I you know what I mean? can't picture that. Were you like, no, re, yeah. ho, re, mo, re, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, In the C point, like, root, actually. Like, you know, sometimes I'm in the studio and I look out uh, the window and I'm like, it's surreal. Because, like, I used to, like, be with a, a friend of mine who used to drive a taxi. And I used to be, like, a, a sliding door operator. You know? So, like, the, the story is, like... Uh, the story has been a long and it's it's a grind man to mm -hmm. like get to the top or, or to or to get to where you want to be in life it's not easy you know you gotta put in the work you know behind that like every day you know what i mean you gotta go for what you want like sometimes it sounds cliche you know but like the amount of demos that i made you know to like trying to get into radio and i sent them out to all radio stations and people would like not listen to them but I didn't stop. I kept making more demos. I kept making and making more demos until somebody called me and said, yo, I see something. I, I can see the vision. You know what I mean? And, um, and, and I'm here now. You know what I mean? And I don't know what it is. Sometimes, you know, like when I'm on stage, like I remember when I was at Cabo, uh, doing the, the gig at Cabo. And when I was out at, um, last week, I was out at, uh, at Kirsten Bosch. You know, I have to say thank you to the people of Cape Town because the way that they have embraced me mm. over the years, it's just amazing to me. Because like sometimes I can't figure it out. 
like this boy from the Eastern Cables, all of a sudden become this you know like loved yeah respected yeah as you should be all of those things you know what i mean so like i can't figure it out you know how it happened but like it's god's work i guess mm. you know at the end of the day you know so i i get i i have to thank the people of cape town for embracing me you know it's not easy cuz like sometimes you have to be like authentic like with the people i guess you know what i mean you have to show them that you are interested in the things that they in, they interested in you know like sometimes like the thing the 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 mistake that like maybe like young kids were trying to get into radio you know they don't care about what the 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 audience cares about you have to care about what like the audience cares about uh you have to show them that you care like, you care about the stuff that they care about the music they love to listen to you know what i mean you have to care about that you know and you'll get over the hurdle then you know because if you come in and you think you know everything you know like we see all we see, we see it all the time like people come in like yeah my friends say i have a good radio <laughs> voice i can do radio <laughs> and when they go on I and it's live radio. it's a different story it's a different story yeah you know what i mean i can do radio <laughs> but i think that's you what know? i think that's what kept you in the game um and you always tell me this like there was never a backup this is where you always wanted to be yeah, like I just always wanted to do radio just always wanted to do radio so i don't know like uh, anyone who wants to do something or wants to do radio whatever you know just keep like just keep at it uh persevere uh but also like like some people are just good at st- at some stuff you know you know if uh if you find that like you get to a point where like maybe this is not for you like you pivot to something else you know like some people are good at running you know some people are, are just good at radio like you you're good at radio you're good at tv you know what i mean Th- these are the things that uh, that are just you that you are called for mm. you know what i mean you know and uh even though y- even though like I could sit here and say like I keep persevering keep persevering I don't want you to waste 10 years of your life persevering for nothing you know what I mean persevere but if you get to a point where you feel like you know be a good self evaluator have you ever gotten to that point where you said you know what I want to walk away oh, from the space times. yeah and then what pulls <laughs> you back every day <laughs> he's like when a paycheck every come day in when I walk away when I'm a like, paycheck comes in like you, I'm done with this you know and then what makes you come back because I love this hmm. I love it man I love it like there's no like there's no place where I feel more alive than that when I'm behind the microphone like a radio microphone when I'm doing a radio show Now it's not even a radio microphone yeah. anymore. It's any microphone in this. It's any microphone. In the city. Now I... this is now this T with Jamie. Ha! You know what I mean? Now we're on TV. Shoot it up to to to. There we go. There we go. There's no reason why I shouldn't be on TV either. No, why why not? Why not? Why not? This yeah. is the year of saying yes to new experiences. It's the year of saying yes. It's it's a yes When year. Why are you going to say yes to me? <laughs> and on that note that is how we wrap up the tea over Jamie Lee let's see if uh, Lunga actually play, pays the labola at some point in time but do follow us on socials you can check us out on YouTube it's hot fm as well as on Instagram as well as on TikTok and also follow myself Jamie Lee Domberg and Mr Lunga Singama on way do you have TikTok I don't have TikTok. I signed up for TikTok, but I I just watch videos of other people. I'm like stalking other people. I send you videos all the time of people. Yeah, I'm like, do. check this out. You but you don't follow me on TikTok. I said uh, you sent me a video of Pam Andrews the other day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Pam Andrews is there. Uh, like, let, let you know what? Because I was on I was on the air. Like, let's talk about Pam Andrews. Why don't you want to talk about Pam Andrews? Hi. You know, Pam Andrews <laughs> was uh, a. Like she was like a crush of mine. She was the first you know? pop star, one she of the was, biggest yeah. pop she stars. She was a crush of mine when she was Pam Andrews and Kim Engelbrecht. <gasps> Jodie Butler's sister. Yeah, Jodie Butler's Yo. sister. Those were my two crushes, mm. okay, on TV when I was growing up. And I would watch this woman and I'd be like, "Man, oh man, they're so beautiful." You know what I mean? Lolly And I don't know, what was Pam, Pam Andrews? One on one. She was in one on one. One on one, but also like her name, like in, in, that, in that show in backstage. I, I forget her mm. name. Uh, but there were crushes of mine, man. 
and I met Kim now, and like, cause like now I'm on, on talking bases with like Kim and Oprah, and I still look at him like, man, Damn. how can somebody be so perfect? You know what I mean? So like, much. just like everything about her, and you know, she's like one of a kind. And uh, then you go into and then yeah, I went into Pam Andrews's uh, uh, Instagram. <laughs> She's still beautiful. Don't get she's me wrong. No, she's gorgeous. But like, I don't understand what's happening there. Like, uh, it seems like some cry for help. You think so? I or don't know. Or do you think know. that she's just evolved and evolved like she's to, not to this? She be shaking her, her <laughs> booty on Instagram. But maybe this, this is, is maybe how, <laughs> this is how you my man. To get, like you get your man to, you know what I mean? Like, it's maybe giving. She, what's it giving? It's not baddie energy. It's n- it's not giving baddie energy. I think that I don't know. Listen, I don't follow her, but I did go and look at her Instagram after um, listening to your show, and I just think maybe she's just comfortable in who she is right now. I yeah. think she used to start a podcast, and she's different. She's a different person than what who she was when she started out in the industry, and maybe she just being I mean, confident and sexy. You think, you think uh, so? I think, I I think, think so. Went, I think, she I think we should have her. I think I should actually I have her. I think we should. I think we should. I don't think she stays in the country though. I think it would be nice to talk to her, mm. you know, because she's turning 40, uh, like that clip you were talking about. Yes. She's turning 40 and then she's, uh, she's trying to figure out her life and all of those things, you know what I mean? Like, because uh, she was talking about how, uh, like you should put this clip up here. Uh, she was talking about how back when she was like in her prime all she wanted was attention you know what i mean from like from like people if she walked into a room she wanted like people to uh to look at her she wanted men to recognize her and she wanted um people to think that she was a hoe but she wasn't you know what i mean Mm. like that was just her strategy you know what i mean in the industry at the time you know uh i'm sure like we'll find the clip and put it up here uh, uh, what I'm talking about because I want people to see that hmm. it's very interesting to me like where she's at in her life and how she's looking back you know what I mean hmm. at the old days um, yeah Pam Andrews also Kanye West mm-hmm. uh, he what has a new Kanye album West? he has a new album that's have coming you, out wh- he has a new album that's coming out I don't know why we're not talking about that but you uh, have to come back for there's the there's a new album that's coming for out the second album. you put up here uh, the new song with Northwest that's out did right you hear, now. Did you hear that song? Um, yeah. My bestie, Miss yes, Westie. Miss oh. Westie, bless me. <sighs> that is She's a good so, song. She, yeah. Uh, you know man, what I, mean? I love her. Like, yeah, he gets so, yeah, he gets so much flack, man. Like, he's such a good dad. Yeah. You know, like he's such a good dad. You know what I mean? Like, he's 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 taking his daughter uh, and making sure that like. She she's becomes looked who after. she wants. You know what I mean. Mm. She becomes who she wants to be. Like she's n- like Kanye is not like stifling her. I just think sometimes you, it's delivery with you, him. With Kanye, it's always delivery. It's like w- love what you're doing. Love your thought process. But there's mm. just sometimes when wrong time, wrong place. How you're executing it. Maybe that's why you know you you spoke about it. Don't try to stay in this lane. Don't try to th- do things yeah. different. But that's what he's doing. He's always trying to go into the another level yeah, and to, pushing the yeah, boundaries. Pushing so the boundaries, yeah. yeah, he's delivery for me sometimes. Just like yo, but yeah, what he's doing with Northwest, he's setting her up. It's I definitely, see, I'm seeing the future. I see Blue Ivy mm-hmm. for sure. She's gonna be out there on stages. Miss Westy, my bestie, is also going to be out there. Maybe even Young Chicago West. Yeah. The kids are coming up. The kids are coming kids up are in the game. Up. Mm. Kids are coming up. Okay. We got to wrap this up. Are you coming back? Yeah, sure. Will you come back? I'll get paid. <laughs> can someone please sponsor the show so that we can actually get Lunga paid? But that's it for the tea with Jamie Lee. Peace.